Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax Garage. Today we are working on my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Right behind me, I'm working on making it over landing ready. But today, we're gonna be working on the back. So let's jump right into it. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. And if you're a long time subscriber, always good to have you back. Just a reminder, only a couple more days to enter to win that $100 Amazon gift card. All you gotta do is comment on any one of my videos in November, like the video and subscribe to the channel and you are automatically entered. Now guys, the last couple of videos have all been about upgrading the Gladiator from lights to winches. Be sure you check those out. There's a playlist all about this build. But today we're working on the back end here. You see, I have my ARE cap and there's some things I'm not happy about um, and the manufacturer really doesn't care to address them. So I'm gonna take things in my own hands and make that better or at least try and then we have a couple other things. So let's look at what we're doing. Firstly, since we're working on the back end, I'm gonna put my high lift mount on the back there right under the toolbox. This is just an accessory for the high mount so it doesn't open. Obviously install the high mount. I have got a cable that I'm gonna run all the way to the back here. This is for a rear winch, or I have a race car trailer and there's a winch on my trailer. So if my race car breaks down, I will have power to the trailer. Now, that phone I've addressed before. Let me walk around here. Now, I wanna leave the window between the cab and the cap open, but there's a big gap in between. So I have to unbolt the cap, that's why I got the tape here, just to realize uh, where it sits. Move it back, install this foam um, weather strip, that way there's a nice seal there. That way I don't have rain and cold air blowing in, and I can warm this compartment up with the interior heater when I run a pipe back here. Now the last thing I want to do is with the toolbox. You see when this is down, you can see that big white box. I don't like that look. Obviously, I'm never gonna be behind the Jeep, but I am going to wrap this part all black so it blends in nicely. And if you see here, this is what ARE says is normal. There's a huge gap between these spaces. So they are maxed out. So I wanna see if I can bore the hole bigger or even this one so these actually close. This is extra weather stripping I wanna cut off. Uh, and the same thing on the other side. Now, I did buy a bunch of extra black there, um, and I might wrap this window black, well, this door black, just so it blends in with the look. I kinda like a red, I kinda think I might like a black, so depending, I might jump into that too. So guys, a lot of little different projects I'm doing today, but I'm gonna find some good music so you guys can listen to that while you watch me move at double speed, fixing all of this stuff up. All right guys, toolbox is out. Um, I don't want to come off as that I hate this cap. I think it makes the truck look awesome. I love it. Um, but for $3,600, I think they can do better. They should do better. So I'm just seeing more things now that I take this out that I'm just gonna show you. Uh, firstly, minor detail, but pretty annoying. But this sticker is under rivets here. The sticker will always be here and it's a pretty crappy location. Um, this is clearly their part number. They should remove it once it's on. They know what part it is. There's a sticker here, I will remove that. But now when you get inside to this actual lip that the toolbox sits on, it's just in there by double-sided tape Velcro. To me, that's, what, what are you thinking? Like, and the double-sided tape Velcro doesn't even, look at that. So, that's perfect. Anyways, I'm gonna remove this. Uh, I'm gonna not wrap the inside of the toolbox. I'm gonna wrap the outside of the toolbox, just for that look. I am really considering getting this Omniwall organization stuff inside here but I don't know about that yet. So, but I wanna wrap this. I'm definitely gonna secure that a bit more. Um, before I put the toolbox back in, I'm gonna move the cap back so I can put that weather sealing in. I am going to install the hijack mount quick. Uh, basically, I've already put the back mounting in there. I just had to slide all of the other track 
uh, mounts out, including one of the ARE mounts. Slide that plate in. Uh, here is the actual hijack mount. It comes with a little rub rubber sticker that you stick on the back here so it doesn't uh, chafe on the bed. So I'm gonna quickly install these, put the jack in there so I can see if it fits all perfectly. And then I'm gonna slide the capper back. One thing I forgot, this is what I'm going to extend. I'm going to hopefully make this hole all the way back so uh, this nut can sit all the way back. I'm gonna cut off this excess because, you know, that's just tacky. But I guess I wouldn't expect anything else. Um, yeah, so let's jump into it. So guys, I know I don't look graceful uh, scooting back there, so sorry if your eyes hurt for a little bit there. As you can see, the bed is back where it should be, so that's perfect. Uh, one thing, if you watched my uh, Everything Wrong With The Kappa video, is when you close this, this gap gets progressively bigger. And I had a buddy tell me, uh, you know, these things flex quite a bit. If we just push this in a little bit when I'm clamping it down, maybe this gap will seal. So I will try that and I'll let you know what happens. Because look here, look at this gap, it's uniform. So I think he is right. This is a massive gap and this one sticks out a bit. So it's got some wiggle room to clamp that in. What I'll do is I'll secure one side uh, in place and then I will do the other side and see if we can fix that gap up. took a long time the box is wrapped black there's a protective coating over it so it looks like it is all scratched up hopefully that's all gone once uh, I put it in and remove that protective coating this I'm not gonna wrap I might spray it black I don't know haven't decided but for now I am going to wrap this uh, I can see I can take this seal off I think then this whole thing just pops out uh, then I have to reseal it but hey I'm already this deep, why not just uh, do it the correct way? Alright guys, well everything is done from wrapping the toolbox to wrapping the side. Uh, I got some of it on film, I worked late into the night so my cameras died and I just wanted to get done. But today I'm going to be running this uh, power cable to the battery. So let's run that, get that installed and then I'll give you a tour of all the new things. Alright guys, so I have wired the power cable all the way to the battery. Now again, this is for um, a rear winch because I have an extra winch. This is also for my camper to charge the solar powered batteries if there's no sun. And then this is also for my race car trailer. Uh, there's a winch on the trailer in case my race car breaks, I can use a powered winch to get on there. Anyways, let's go through the full tour of everything I did this video. So here is the rear plug. Um, this will be connected to the trailer, so it fits perfect there. This distance between the tow hook and there may have to change, but uh, only time will tell. And when this is not in use, obviously, that just covers it up. I am going to fill this with some dielectric grease so nothing rusts up in there, just so you guys know. All right, moving on to the interior here. Let's turn on some lights. All right, so as you can see, I have wrapped that whole toolbox black. The reason I wrapped it black is firstly so it looks better, but then also, if you remember at the beginning of the video, you could actually see the toolbox in there. Now you can't see it, which is, you know, visually looking better. So that is all done. Next up, I didn't wrap inside here because this will be scratched with tools and I'm thinking about putting the Omni wall system in here. One thing I didn't do is reinstall these wings. Here they are. 
To me, they don't fit anyway, so what's the point in having them? So obviously the jack, it fits perfectly here, nice and secure. I like that mount. And guys, everything I've used in this video, there are links down below. And now for the creme de la creme. There we go. What do you think? It looks like a regular window. Let's check it out on this side. I think it blends in pretty good. I'm glad I went glossy because it looks like a window. And now I think people will think it's a window, but it's actually solid. Um, people won't see the toolbox. So maybe some added security. But anyways, guys, that's it for today. Next video, I'm going to start wrapping things up on the Jeep here, uh, at least for now. But I'm going to re I'm going to do all the wiring here clean it up because I have two more lights yes I said lights I promise last video on lights I got another ditch light because this looks lonely by itself here so we're gonna mount one there and then I have a light bar we're mounting under here then I'm gonna sort out all this wiring show you guys how it's all done show you how I've done it um, and then also I'm gonna be protecting the positive cable along all the way to the back just in case it gets some chafing so guys thanks a lot for tuning in hope everyone has a happy thanksgiving and i want to say thanks to each and every one of you we hit 2,000 subscribers a couple days ago that is fantastic i didn't expect it um but that is great so thanks a lot happy thanksgiving and until next time i'll see you then